Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the radius of convergence and the interval of convergence for this series. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we're going to use a ratio test. So when it comes to the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here. We always need to get AM plus 1, so this is your AM plus 1, divided by AM, that's this AM here, and then tidy this up. So visualize this as uh, one block multiplying with this block. Now if you look at this block, it would then cancel out with this one here. So that would then take you to that would then take you to um, to here. So now we remember absolute of A times B, that's the same as apps of A times apps of B. So uh, so so that would then take you to here. And remember N is always positive. So uh, so if N is always positive, this will always be positive. This will always be positive. The whole thing here will, will always be positive. When you square root a positive, it will be a positive. So you don't really need the absolute here. So, uh, so you can, you can discard the absolute. And, uh, and because n is moving towards infinity, this does, this thing here doesn't contain n. So in a way, you can consider it as being a constant because it is the n that's moving about. It is the n that's moving about. This block here doesn't contain n. So you can actually take it out here if you want to. So, so this is uh, one block and this is another block. So now as n heads towards infinity, um, this is going to be one. Square root of one would be one. As n heads towards infinity, this block here will be one. So, uh, so when it comes to the ratio test, for convergence, we require this to be strictly less than one. If it's greater than one, it's going to diverge. If it equals one, it's inconclusive. For convergence, we require this to be less than one. So, uh, so for convergence, we re we require this to be less than one. Well, as n heads towards infinity, we know this is going to be uh, going to be one. So, so, so you trying to make this whole thing to be less than one, just concentrate on making this to be less than one. The minute that this is less than one, then the whole thing here will be less than one because this is one. Okay, so, so, so we are trying to make, for convergence, we are trying to get this to be less than 1. So just concentrate on making this to be less than 1. So for convergence, we require, we require this to be less than 1. So for convergence, we require this to be less than 1. So another way of, write, uh, of writing this is, um, is this. Rewrite it as this, and then add 1 to e everything. So, uh, so add one here, add one here. That would then give you this. So, so we know for sure that anything in this interval it will converge. But remember, dead on zero, dead on zero, dead on zero, and dead on two. So anything in between it will converge. The series will converge for sure. But dead on zero and dead on two, uh, dead on zero, dead on zero, and dead on two. If you put zero two into here, um, this whole thing here would be one. Um, remember, when it comes to ratio test, if this thing here is less than 1, it's going to converge. Greater than 1, it's going to diverge. But because it equals 1, it's inconclusive. So we need to manually check what happens when, when x is dead on 0, what happens when it's dead on 2. So now to manually check, when x is dead on 0, uh, going back to the original series, um, uh, going back to the original series, when x is 0, we would put this into here. So 0 take away 1, that will be negative 1. So that's this negative 1. So here you've got an alternating series. Um, so, so now you can use the nth term test. Well, this thing here, by now you should, by now you should be able to tell that this will diverge. Because, um, because in order for any sequence to converge, uh, it must head towards 0. This thing here is, is, uh, square root looks something like this. So it's, it's climbing all the time. This is not the nth term test. Says so that well, th this is just going to get bigger and bigger. Square root is, is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. In order for for any series to converge, it has to head towards zero. So uh, so we know for sure. You should by now be able to tell that this will diverge just by use by looking at the nth term test. So when x equals two, going back to the original series, when x equals two, we would need to put this into here. So two take away. 1, that would be 1. So now again, this thing here would diverge. You should be able to tell by now. Um, so, so overall, overall, our radius, our radius of convergence is 1, because the radius, the radius here is 1, and it's centered at 1, and, uh, the interval, the interval of convergence is actually this. 
excluding that on 0, excluding that on 2. So the interval convergence is this. Okay.